Here are some notes on infectious mononucleosis, more commonly just called mono. The bug, the virus behind it, is called Epstein-Barr virus. At least that's the most common one. There are some others, but this is the one worth knowing. The signs and symptoms of mono include fever, tonsillitis, pharyngitis, sometimes with exudates, posterior or diffuse cervical lymphadenopathy, significant fatigue. Some patients have hepatomegaly and splenomegaly. Some patients have a rash, especially after you give them amoxicillin. Sometimes infectious mononucleosis is mistaken for strep throat, so an urgent care doc might give you amoxicillin, which would precipitate a rash if it was really mono. The diagnosis is made with a positive heterophile antibody test. This is called the monospot test, and it has a 25% false negative rate during the first week of illness. So it's not really great during the first week. You'll also have atypical lymphocytosis on your labs and a transient hepatitis as well. The treatment and management is not really any medication. You really just need to avoid sports for three weeks and contact sports like American football for at least four weeks due to the risk of splenic rupture.